Hi, welcome to another free Cubase Guru video tutorial. This one is another one that was requested quite a lot. Um, it's regarding using VST instruments as effects. Um, in this instance, um, I'll use Absinthe 5. I'll also show you how to use Reactor. And I will also use something like Predator from Rob Papin. Okay, I'm just going to import a sample that we can use to affect. Okay, I've decided on this sample. Um, it's from a um, cartoon, um, but I thought it would be something fun to listen to while we're doing this. So, it is very simple to do this. A lot of people used to think of it as being extremely difficult. That's why they didn't use it. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I'm going to start with using Absinthe. So it's just like adding any other insert effect. There's my native instruments. Absinthe 5 auto map. Uh, sorry, Absinthe 5 FX. Yes, it is auto map because I've got it auto map, but that's got nothing to do with this. Okay, so I now have Absinthe 5 as a, an effect. So if I press play. No, Pinky! Never use two drops of the formula. Okay, if I just mute that, sorry, I should have let you hear it first. No, Pinky! Never use two drops of the formula. Okay, so if we come to patch. The oscillator has been used as the audio in. So you have audio in here. You can change it to, if we change it to double number formula. One, so it needs to be set to audio in. That allows us to run audio through. Okay, so we've got the audio input. Um, now if we come down to the filter section, we can choose a whole host of different filters. Let's go for the cloud. And now the audio comes in through the audio in here and then gets passed on to the filter. So now if we play this. No, Piggy. Never use. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, using the filters and of course you can change everything. So we can come to the tone, put the tone filter. <laughs> Most of the different things you can use, um, and you can save everything. You can mutate the module. Which is kind of like a randomized feature. And of course, you can select whichever. You like? Let's try wave shape. See what happens. Never use two drops of the formula. It would cause a reaction on the molecular level that is completely unpredictable. Oh, I no, no, picky. Okay, as you can see, that's going a bit crazy. Frequency shift. Never use two drops. So as you can hear, you can do all kinds of things with this. It's a great feat. Um, the filters in Absinthe are excellent. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, so once you've got it in here, cause a reaction on the you can then come down, click on the modulation parameters, and then you can select a whole host of um, other parameters again. So as you can see, it's very, very easy. And you just keep going. You can add, come back up to this, and again, you need to make sure it's audio input. So that passes it through this. Oh, 
So as you can see, you can get really creative and you can just keep going and going and going and going, doing whatever you like. And down here you've got the two masters. If you click on that, they come into here. And again, that's a wave shape. The opportunities and possibilities are endless.